The greatest female servers of all time all have certain technical similarities on their serves. And why this can improve your serve we'll get to later in the video. But first let's check out what these similarities are. And the three technical elements of the serve that I'm about to show you apply to the top 10 ace leaders on the WTA in the year 2019 and overall in the top 100 uh, the numbers are very similar and it also applies to the greatest female servers of all time so the first thing that all these female players have in common on their serves is the lag and what is a lag well basically you're going to lag the racket behind your toss and something like this And it's no coincidence that a lot of WTA players serve with the lag because you can get a lot of swing momentum from lagging the racket behind. So basically what happens to the take back when we toss the ball first is that the racket really does not have any time to stop. So there's not going to be any pauses in the trophy phase and the racket will gradually accelerate and therefore on the serve you can create a lot more swing momentum. And serving with the lag does not depend on any particular backswing. So you could have a full backswing where the racket arm is fully extended, either going towards the side fence or straight towards the back fence and still lag the racket behind the toss arm. It would look something like this. So here's a full backswing with a lag. And the lag also works with a semi-abbreviated backswing where the racket goes up into the trophy phase in a more lateral way. And it looks something like this. And you could apply a lag serve to a semi-abbreviated take back with a bent arm that closely resembles an abbreviated take back. And basically what you would do is toss the ball first and then don't allow the arm to straighten out and basically keep it bent and then lag the racket behind the toss and it looks something like this. So this works with all different types of backswing and basically what it guarantees you is that you will have a more continuously moving racket and the risk of having a hitch in your swing where the racket basically gets stuck is minimized and you can therefore create a lot more swing momentum. Another technical aspect that all the top WTA servers have in common is a higher toss and this correlates to a lag serve. So what happens on a lag serve is that you most likely will need a little bit higher toss to accommodate the longer backswing. You could theoretically have a lag serve and have a low toss, but what happens with most players is that they don't have the quick enough body actions and also a quick enough arm to accommodate a low toss like that because the racket would have to move pretty quickly in order to catch up with a low toss. So let me try it out. I'm gonna to toss it low and lag the racket behind. See on that serve I felt it a lot more in my arm and it just doesn't match my body. And this is also the reason why the vast majority of the greatest WTA servers of all time do not serve like this. They have a higher toss and they allow the racket to gradually pick up speed and it can therefore accelerate the racket a lot faster and execute the serve with more power. And you can try this out. You can toss the ball a little higher and then lag the racket behind and see what happens and then do a comparison where you toss it lower and then accelerate the racket faster. What I found with the vast majority of players is that when you toss the ball lower and accelerate the racket faster, you actually are losing power. And here's the reason why you will lose power if you do that is because it turns into a serve that's heavily dependent on a quick arm movement. And the rest of the body is really not helping out the serve. And see, when you toss the ball higher, now the entire body has a little bit more time to help the arm out and now all the power sources can work in unison and you can therefore utilize your entire body to generate power on the serve. And it's not only that, but you will also be able to pick up a little bit of momentum from a ball that's falling. See, if I toss the ball high and then I hit the ball on its way down and uh, there is more momentum picked up by the gravity uh, which brings the ball down and let me show you so if I toss the ball a little bit higher and see that momentum of the ball coming down helps me to generate a little bit more power and finally another technical element that all the top 
WTS servers have in common and that is also correlated with a lag and also a higher toss is the pinpoint stance. So all the greatest WTA servers of all time use the pinpoint stance with the exception of Madison Keys. And here's what happens on a pinpoint stance. You will be able to generate a little bit more forward momentum from the back foot moving up to the front foot. And what's important on the pinpoint stance is the timing of when that back foot pulls up to the front foot and it helps the racket out tremendously. So what should happen is that the back foot will pull up to the front foot when the racket is going up into the trophy phase. So when the racket is going towards this position right here, that's when that back foot pulls up to the front foot. And now once it's set, we can accelerate the serve to the max. And here's how the lag, the higher toss, and the pinpoint stance can help your serve. See, it's no coincidence that the top female servers across the board have these three technical elements in common. And it's because a WTA serve is obviously not as strong as an ATP serve. So the females have to rely more on the natural ways of creating power on their serves. And the lag, the higher toss and the pinpoint stance have nothing to do with strengths. These are natural ways to get more power on a serve. And the way I see it is why not apply them to your serve? It takes absolutely no effort and you can generate a little bit more power on your serve as a result of that. And these technical elements are not exclusive to female players. The vast majority of ATP serves actually has these same technical elements in common. So here's where you can try on your next serve practice session. Number one, try to lag the racket behind the toss arm. Basically, you're gonna to toss the ball first while the racket weights below the toss arm. Looking something like that. Number two, try to toss the ball a little bit higher. Now this will take some adjustments. It has to match your particular style. But basically, you want to hit the ball when it's on its way down, looking something like this. And now thirdly, try the pinpoint stance. Basically, as the racket is going up into the trophy phase, you're gonna start thinking about pulling the back foot up to the front foot, looking something like this. Now, if you put all these three things together, you might get a few miles an hour extra on your serve.